Uh, K7. Right. All right, so we got that up tilt into the side view right there. Just going to get some quick damage in here. And this is such a cool character in Cinderor, man. You do not see him too often, but when he comes out, he is always putting on a show. Yeah, and I love the name because yeah, he is a cool character, man. He honestly really loves his inclusion in Smash Ultimate overall. I mean, it's been a, honestly, we don't really see these kind of grapples in this main game. Only grapples that we've seen that kind of level is Ice Climbers and they've always been the kind of chain grabs. But I love to see a character that's going to be slow, going to be stocky, but it's going to be so much damage of a single grab and it's a character that you have to fear, but it's such a fun character Ooh. to play. Oh my goodness, and that almost actually taking the stock right there. Oh, okay. I see you. That was an excellent X guard. Yes. I've never seen that executed like that. Okay, cool cat. You yeah. are a cool cat. Let's yeah, get it. Yeah, definitely a cool cat, man. Yeah, Magister always just comes direct. Really, really terrific play there. Yeah, and if you don't know, this man, if you come up to his booth, you can play against him, and if you win, he will give you free art, but yep. it is very hard to beat him. Yes, oh, absolutely. I mean, this guy's been making money off that alone for years. Doing yeah, because if you lose, you gotta buy something. Yep. Even back in Smash 4, he would rock people with Charizard. And it's like, oh, if yep. you lose, you best believe you're gonna pay up. Hey, but you get some good art out of it, so yeah. win-win you know, situation. Exactly. <laughs> oh. That's how he's level up. It's so crazy. This guy's going right now on the verge of a three-stock. Magister is on the move right now, and my man K27, you gotta find a way. Oh my god, he's catching him with so many of those, and that racks up so much percent. Not only that, but it's a little bit mentally infuriating, you know? You, you get a hit by that, and you just feel like, I'm taking so much percent. And Rihanna yeah. only took like 13, maybe 20. I'm not sure how much it does. Don't Get you right. <laughs> Back. You're not taking too much, is yeah, what I'm right? saying. Yeah, if he doesn't I, have his uh, rage, then you're okay. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. I haven't seen that kind of grab break before. That's pretty crazy. Both of them with their, their command grab, that's the goal to the stock. Beautiful Lariat. Gonna put him in a jungle situation. Comes down. K27. The setup. All right, gonna knock him off Bear. the right side here. And he was able to make that back. I'm surprised because the horizontal recovery for this man, not the best. Yeah, not the best, definitely. I mean, he definitely got some love. Sakurai's blessing in the, the latest patch. So I think that's right. what we just saw right there. All right. The back air, yep. And he's going to trade for it too. You can tell that he knew K27 I, was going to try to jump up. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. You have yep. to. Oh, my man said my controller was not plugged in correct. You see that? Oh. He actually said, <laughs> actually, everything I saw was a lie. I'm going to plug in my controller now. Okay. K27. All right, so got the got the replug in there. I, I mean, we've all seen it to happen to the best of us. Yep. Going to go into game two with better working controls, man. I feel that. Oh, 100%. So I'm in the cash 22 right now because my man K27, 27 is definitely one of my lucky numbers. But my man Magister, man has been a friend for a minute, and uh, best believe I want to see that W. I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> the low key bias, but but you didn't say anything bias in the set. That's all that matters. That's true. All right, so here we go on to game two. Uh, hopefully K27 can try to avoid a few of those command grabs because he was definitely getting scooped up by it so much. You can tell it was wearing on his ment mentality a little bit. Yeah, I mean, that's just going to be, in general, a deep kind of dealing with the situation. All right, man, when, when you see a grappler, a lot of people, don't, no matter what fighting game it is, it's so hard to deal with because they just do so much damage. They usually have really good normals, and you just don't want to feel like you're going to beat up by a slow character. You know what I mean? Right, exactly. It feels so bad when you're like, oh, I should be able to overrun him, but look at the way he's working him across yep. the stage right now. Oh, my goodness, Ooh. man. All <laughs> options covered. Yeah, and he tried to... Of course. Oh, of course. I love it. I love it. Yeah, you see this man try to counter pick with the slants here, but it actually seems like it's working against him. Although this is quite a bit closer than it was in the last game. So absolutely. Are we, oh, not going to get that there. And I think we're going to set up good fair and retaliation. Beautiful reversal. And the man is moving in and down to the dash attack. Has the opportunity here to take the stock at the ledge. Okay, the man, dash. grab. Looking like it almost was going to KO for a second. He's oh. going to come. have to come up real high. Yeah, those molars aren't going to do it in today. Beautiful Lariat. Oh, and of course the dash attack is going to pull out that stock, and K27 is going to move on ahead. But just what? as I say that, the easiest of Lariat, that move is so damn strong. Didn't he have it lag? Where was it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Just going to get that out and knock this first stock off. Man, grab bite, though. 50% already on this cool cat. Get up tilt, raise the roof on him. Of course, Magic is going to comp uh, DI out of that. Very successfully. Good place. Beautiful Lariat there to get some damage. 
Oh, we got another one of those coming on, and he times that perfectly every single time. You see a lot of Incineroars knock you up to the top and because of the missed timing, but not uh, Magister. Yeah, not at all. Oh, good interruption right there. And beautiful command grab to boot. Can they have on side of stage opportunity to dodge? And yes, just the whip punish he needs. Closing out that stock at 119. I love the play there by Magister. Yeah, that's what you need to see because he's actually making the adaptation. Seeing where Cool Cat keeps uh, swinging those command grabs and punishing him for it. Master needs a little bit more plays like that because right now, as we can see, K27 playing a hell of a game right now. Right. Okay, gonna knock him off once again. But K27 still hanging on to that stock. That's all that matters, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you knew that thing was gone. Yeah. The bear. Uh oh, pushing him really far away. I don't think he can come back. Oh wow, the side B into the up B. Okay. Wasn't he not able to up B before the patch, or am I crazy? After the side B? I mean, no, you're good, you're good. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so nice back air right there, gonna knock him off, and get the re-grab here. How's he gonna set him up? Option. Zap tilt. Oh, going to go Oh my high. gosh, oh no. Oh no. Yeah, no, that no, let that be the reason. Spot. Okay, good recovery. Yeah, Magister having full control over this recovery, which is 100% important if you're gonna yeah. play someone like Incineroar. Oh, absolutely. Oh, the air dodge, not gonna get a punish. But fair. Dash attack, not gonna kill just yet. You got the bike set up. Of oh! Oh, oh, oh my wait, god. No, no. I think the oh, plant actually put him out of position. No, and a piece of walk. dead. Ooh, barely getting it. And? Delay it, not gonna kill just yet. Oh, they call for it. Everyone's saying to the ropes. Or you know what that means. Oh, gonna side be back to the ledge. Barely grab his hands on here, but how's he gonna get on the stage? Okay, K27 actually backing off and just letting him get on. Yeah. Wait. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Oh man, K27, the confidence. Okay, so that's what he wanted. You saw him kind of just space it back, space it forward. What you gonna do? You're pivoting yeah. it around, but what's your plan? There yeah. it is. My man. Got that strong Play. shoulder. Yeah, give him, definitely give him burn for his money. Yeah, so game three. I guess that counter pick did work out for him because you actually did see Magister try to go for the down tilt into back air, which he's confirmed a million times. But I think the tilt of the stage actually threw him off on his positioning, uh, unable to space or time that. Big rip. All right, we're gonna go right back into it again. Wario versus Pro going on the battlefield for game three. Go. And this is definitely good for Magister. They're gonna be able to have the counter pick this time around. Hopefully the stage doesn't throw him off for the combos that he was trying to get. Yeah. One of the whip, not gonna get that. And that means standing ovation, take that damage. Uh-oh. Unfortunate for Incineroar there, he wanted to get that uh, hit on his counter, but yeah. K27 gonna misface it. Luckily for him. Ooh. Of course, hit him with the clothesline. Good damage, and wow, that's gonna be just enough. Did, didn't why didn't, I wonder why he didn't use the bike. Yeah, I feel like it's a situation where he's just like, you know what, I don't want to waste my walk. I need that for a good comeback if I get momentum. But sometimes you gotta do it, man. Are you, are you gonna waste that entire life just for that walk? It's like, is that even worth it? And oh, once again, barely not hitting his uh, counter there. Gotta oh, recover high. Yeah, don't do that. Brilliant the way he did it too. Actually able to get a hit on top. Playing it slow here. Not gonna give up anything now that he's up a full stock. You can play this as carefully as you want. Triple Lariat and go high. Opportunity here for K27. Oh, not enough. And that best will be that's gonna be your life. And easy, easily. We see Madison going to potential free stock in this match right now. And my man got 100% accuracy on the timing for that. Yep. Very important. Up tilt into up air, but he can't seem to find the stock. I feel like K27 backs off a few, a little bit too much. Like maybe Wario just doesn't have the air mobility that he needs to get up there, but I don't know. I just feel like he, at this point right now, he needs to recognize that he needs to apply more pressure. He's basically yeah. allowing Magister to really dictate the pace of the game, and that's what's been kind of problematic for him. He just is not there in that kind of defensive play, so he needs to recognize, he needs to make sure that he's the Otherwise, you're gonna see a deficit like this. Yeah, my man just got suplexed and now an edge guard situation, but that great slap gonna knock him out of there. Can he make it back? Saving that jump forever, man. 
So good. Oh, don't get side beat. Cash. Money. Yep. See ya. Uh, I knew it. Oh, I just got <laughs> I know. He just... He, he just... <laughs> Super He's unfortunate. Like, yep. Man. Life in the palm of my hand. I feel like everything that he had downloaded from game two, or game one yep. and two, it just didn't work out for him in game three. He sort of he fell just, back he on said, some you of know the what? stuff. Thanks for buying my art. That's what he just said. Thanks for buying my art. At least get a good piece, man. He's yep. got a lot. Oh yeah. Okay, so great stuff by him to actually get a three stock victory in that game three. And yeah, it just it just seemed like uh, K27's game plan completely fell apart. All the data that he downloaded just fell apart for him, man. Sad, sad. But, he, you know, he did a great job. That game two counter pick was excellent stage choice. And a lot of people, or not a lot of people, but I know some people don't realize how important it is to go to a stage that's going to help you out and yeah. hinder your opponent. Absolutely. Yeah, a lot of times people look at stages and they're like, you know what? What does this stage do for me? Really need to look at the stage as what does it do for we? What does it do for me? What does it do for you? And do the pros outweigh the cons? Because a lot of times people go ahead and they look at stages and they only think about what does it do for me and that's the problem yeah that's a very fair point it's like how can i hinder my opponent a lot of people used lila for that situation they're like hey maybe he'll sd you know in smash 4 that was an actually very viable option yeah absolutely that time around it worked but best believe in this game you guys gotta you gotta know your stuff man there's too many characters that are too solid